Hi 3D creators, this is Alan from Digital Vector Studios. Popcorn Effects now has hit iClone 7. Popcorn Effects has been around a little while. Um, it's been emerging in the gaming and effects uh, area for video. And iClone now has a plugin, as you may know, uh, that they can use Popcorn Effects. It's, it's got a free editor uh, that you can download, but the plugin is a, a paid plugin for 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 iClone. So I picked up the uh, the latest and I got the bonus uh, preset pack. So what I thought would be nice is to go through, do a walkthrough of these presets so you guys can take a look before you decide to buy. Uh, if you get the bonus effects, you're going to get over a hundred um, presets. So once you install Popcorn Effects, you're going to go to your content tab and then you're going to go to set up here in the top and then you're going to go to particles and then you will find the popcorn effects uh, units down here and there's there's some different areas including functions and applications and we're going to go through each of those sections so let's get started the popcorn effects super tools is kind of just an overview of all these different sections but I'm going to start with the texture emitter and the first one we're going to look at is the blizzard. So you're just going to drag and drop that down to your screen and hit play and you can see the effects. And so you get a nice blizzard effect here. And to, to make setting changes you go to the modify tab and you'll see a little popcorn tab. And you can scroll up through the settings and change some things. Uh, let's, let's take a look at changing the uh, mint rate and we'll, we'll bump that up a little bit and get a little bit more snow, a heavier snow there and we'll take it down a little bit so you can see we get a lighter snow now as well let's take a look quickly and uh, and bump these both up the quota and the admit rate and we'll just we'll get a blanket of snow here burning ash ah very nice that'd be nice for uh, volcanic activity or some kind of a planet that uh, has some hot embers on it let's take a look at this cloud here Very nice. Big upgrade for uh, the cloud feature here in iClone over the standard particle generator. You can see that depth. Obviously we can get different results if we would go in and change the modify tab. Let's take a look at some more here. Ah, the matrix effect. You probably saw this in the promo. Digital rain, very nice. That's so easy. And obviously we have the 3D depth as well. It's not just a 2D. Let's take a look at dust. Dust and light. So this could give you could do this with uh, photos. This is obviously a a sp very specific effect. You can see this one set up with a an actual square uh, shape that it's being applied to and that can be obviously changed in the modify tab here's a flame and we gotta zoom into this guy he's he's pretty small so eh, okay there but obviously with some modification we can do a lot of different things with this flame a little bit better look at it nice colors there let's look at the floating dust obviously p folks use this for an effect with photographs uh, just kind of intro videos titles and that you can see the nice effect there ground fog zoom out a little bit we're a little close ah, very nice 
nice depth very similar to the cloud you can see it's got a little bit different uh, movement though fire rain for your Armageddon Day video that you're gonna make yeah let's try some more falling leaves probably saw this in the promo and I think this is using a uh, a very specific shape it looks like it's just a block so those can obviously be changed uh, you can change the meshes in the modify tab let's take a look at some more here snow I think we looked at blizzard before this is just a different setting so it's a, a lighter snow I'm gonna zoom in here a little bit so you can see it but it's got a nice effect it's kind of just fluttering down it looks like they changed the gravity on this uh, setting a little bit differently than the blizzard blizzard was coming down a little faster uh, welding arc let's start this one up very nice nice colors there you get the obviously the light coming off those sparks and if we put something underneath it we could we could change the settings with the uh, reflection and with the it bouncing off the floor or some other effect this is the tech tunnel this is a quick and e easy way to to get kind of a cool effect it's just using a uh, very specific mesh that it's that's floating out here but you can get a nice 3d uh, warping effect kind of you're traveling through a tunnel here you could do a lot of different this could, probably gives you some ideas on some different meshes you could use for that effect you just change out the mesh the the setup is already made up for you okay let's look at this laser fight Ooh get into some sci-fi here okay so battle scene obviously it's very directional there and and those settings can be changed but it is a, a 3d effect with these particles let's try jet smoke so this is the exhaust out the back of a jet uh, and, and things can be changed. You can extend the life of these particles, but this is set for just a short duration. Let's look at what we got here. Laser lights, disco show. So we're kind of getting a, a different effect here. I left the, the smoke there so you can see how the lights are affecting. Uh, these particles can affect each other. You're seeing that deflection of that light through that smoke ring and let's throw another one on here so you can just see kind of how these particles interact with each other okay so let's get some nice fog here and get the lights going through that and you can see that's kind of a cool effect so there's a lot we can do with these uh, this this walkthrough is just scratching the surface on the customizations you guys can make or um, just the usage. Just uh, there's there's all kinds of things I'm thinking of right now that these these can be used for. Here's heavy smoke and this is uh, like a train uh, factory setting. You're gonna have a lot of smoke coming out of one specific spot. What else do we got here? Sandstorm. This is this one. We can uh, set up a nice ground sandstorm effect, and the 3D. That's a pretty big area here, so we can set up pretty nice scenes, desert scenes, uh, all kinds of things with this. We could change the color and and do different things if we want to make that a gray or or black. smoke rings obviously this this has some usage but it's uh, I have to play with the settings on this one okay we've got got a lot more here I'm not gonna do every single one Tetris uh, 
we have some more bubbles and this is spewing out quite a few bubbles versus the other one was some individual bubbles this would be more of a like a diver or something you could attach um, to their mask let's get into the some of the text emitters so here's the uh, scrolling text the classic uh, moving text and let's look at some of the settings for this one so there's the text field you can put your own text in there and not sure what the maximum number of letters are but you can change the letter spacing line spacing and get just to get a different effect whatever you want so there's a lot of customization available there very nice Okay, let's get into just very specific labels and you can see that we have these pedestals we can turn these off in the uh, under your scene so you just see the text but the the pedestal just gives you a, a marker where you want to place it in the scene uh, here's some text titles those are pretty cool you can see the light coming off those those items obviously all the changes can be made in the modify tab for whatever you want teleprompter so this just gives us some uh, kind of subtitles or if we want to set up a presentation we could use that in that way let's get into some of the ribbon em emitters and here's the magic orbits and yeah, that's kind of neat cigarette smoke uh, this was very difficult to do before with uh, the emitters in iClone previously this is a nice that looks really very good insects pretty small little little insects here nice effect the movement there very nice tornado whoa you can really see the ribbons there with this tornado very stylized tornado there so if you want to change some of the settings uh, there's all kinds of different emitters here's the the mesh that's being used that can be changed cast shadow and change the bloom strength the exposure bloom strength which will make it brighten up And there's a whole bunch of there's ribbon settings here you can change the ribbon width linear polarization versus circular we'll reduce that down a little bit spin angle obviously all kinds of things we can play with here this looks like fun hey let's go on to school of fish you probably saw this in the promo Come on, get on there. There we go. Oh, okay. So we got kind of that fish moving in a 3D pattern, some randomized movement there. Kind of neat. And obviously each of those, the mesh that's used for this could be changed. I think in the promo they were using more of a fish looking mesh. Here's some coins falling money making it rain there we go so we can go in here to the the settings here's the mesh here so we can change that and make probably dollar bills you'd have to change the physics on it uh, whatever you want to change water droplets here's meteors so we're traveling through a asteroid belt very nice very quick and easy effect there falling flowers so these float and flutter a little more uh, than the coins so a little bit different physics was applied to this so change the mesh or just use this as is it's pretty nice obviously the popcorn we got to have the popcorn with the popcorn effects Let's take a look. So 
some nice little popcorn shooting out. Don't know where we'd use that, but I guess if I'm working for a movie theater sometime, I can create a nice promo for them. And then let's get to the distortion emitters. These obviously um, need to be applied to the different surfaces or in front of the surfaces to, to see all these, but I've got some objects there in the background, just a, a plain wall and a, a simple 3D object, so you can kind of see what it's doing, but you need some, I think in the promo they're showing a water surface that you can do with a lot of these ripples and that. So these will need to be explored a little bit more, but it look like they have a lot of potential here. See a lot of effect there with that water wave. Yeah, you can't can't see much there, but obviously there's a lot of potential there. Let's go on to some of the functions, and these are uh, ways to quickly apply some additional settings to to what you have set up. So there's some more text here, moving text, and I'm moving a specific pattern. You can change everything. Obviously, the same way as before. Line display just gives you a couple of different lines of text. Font settings, so you can do custom fonts. All right, some of the particle settings. Here we go. Not sure. Line camera. Okay, good. Align horizontal. Very nice. So we got some colors here. Okay. Just giving you some ideas for some different usages of this plugin. The rainbow bubbles. You got the force of the wind, which these can be applied to any any of the effects, but it's showing you kind of how the, the breeze they're they're making physics be applied to this effect. Min max. What else we got here? Got the spinning animation. I think there's some orbital animations in here. Here's a sprite, so you can apply some sprite to the meshes. Let's see, it makes it look like it's walking there. The particles. So there's a lot you could do with that. That's kind of nice. Some ideas for that one. Kind of a ripple effect in the cube there. This is a stepper. Very nice. Okay, here's some more settings, all directions. Oh, nice. So there's a projection there where it's projecting particles like up on a screen. Let's look at the uh, very nice upvote. There's a spread. Nice conical spread there. This light. There's a little bit different one. Kind of a water fountain look there. Here, let's look at a mesh now. 
So this is going to be a, <clears throat> a cube look here of these particles. That's really nice. You can see the 3D volume there. So those are just uh, kind of dots there, just to show you a closer look at what's going on there. So overall, there's a lot of different things you guys can do here. Uh, you can play with the settings on this one, but uh, this popcorn effects uh, certainly opens up the special effects abilities of iClone. And I know they're running some specials till the end of the year, uh, but you get the, the free add-on pack. I think it's over 100 and like 107 presets, which is really nice to, to get started quickly. But the uh, free editor in, in Popcorn Effects can also be used. So you can edit your own particles and then use those in iClone now. And so just taking a look at this, guys, I, I, I'm pretty impressed with it so far. I'm really happy I picked it up. Hopefully my sound's good here. I was away from the studio, but this was new and I wanted to get this out so I'm recording this from home uh, this computer I'm running on it it's pretty smooth it's got a just it's a laptop with a 960 GTX in it so nothing too big but you can see it was running pretty smooth throughout this so take care guys thanks for looking uh, talk to you soon